Jamie Ray with Jamie Ray Vintage. Today's DIY is all about glazing and I'm going to be glazing on this buffet. I did a video a while back where I did it on some picture frames and I gave you some good information but I kind of wanted to show you on a larger piece. So today to get started we're going to be using an artist brush. It's a number six flat brush that I got at my local craft store. We've got our antiquing glaze that's very chalk mother. You can buy that on my website jamierayvintage.com. I have a damp paper towel and then I also have my magic eraser. My piece has already been painted in Fairy Chalk Mother's Ivory and then I sealed it with a water-based polyacrylic. It's really important when you're using chalk paint that you're going to want to go ahead and seal it before you glaze unless you want a really dirty muddy look because the chalk paint is really porous and it'll soak that glaze right up and then you can't get it off. If you do want kind of a dirtier muddier look to your, your glaze then go ahead and just paint and glaze. In this case, we've painted and sealed and we're going to get started. So on this piece, I'm just going to be painting in all the detail work and just going in kind of all the cracks. And you work a little bit at a time so that way it doesn't dry too much before you wipe it off. If it dries too much, you can't maneuver it as much. Once you've got an area painted, then you're going to take your damp paper towel and rub it back off. And then if you get it anywhere where the paper towel just won't get it off, that's where you use your magic eraser. If we hadn't have sealed this, we couldn't get it off. But that looks great. Everything came off the way I wanted to. I'm going to keep doing that all over this dresser until I get all the detail done. I think it turned out amazing. It was a really simple project. You're just going to paint, seal, then glaze. You'll want to wipe off any excess glaze with a wet paper towel or a magic eraser if the paper towel doesn't take it off and then seal one more time with polyacrylic. If you want to know about sealing polyacrylic, we've got a video for that. Also, I wanted Deb to give you a close-up. If you look down at the doors of our buffet here, you can see these gorgeous appliques. These appliques are not original to the piece. When we found this buffet, half the door was missing. So Zeb went ahead and used the other door as a pattern and cut out a new door, but it was super boring. So we went and used our JRV appliques and added this one and that one to add some detail. If you'd like to purchase appliques, go to jamierayvintage.com and look under JRV appliques. Also, if you want to purchase the paint or glaze used today, go to jamierayvintage.com. Be sure to ask any questions you have below, give us a thumbs up, and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.